Hey everyone, Noah here. Welcome back to Christian Noah's Fun Toys TV. Um, today I'm just doing a quick review of some of my favorite Muppet items in my Muppet collection. So, you're either watching this as a live premiere, because I will premiere it. So if you are, um, comment what your favorite item is that you see so far. And while I talk about it through the video, you know, you can comment like if you want to buy it or something. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my opinion, um, so this is just some of my favorite stuff, um, I do like all the plush I have, but some of these are just like, you know, more rare items, some of them aren't even rare, they're just really cool to me. So, yeah, let's get to it. We're probably gonna go from like, I don't know, like, smallest to biggest, or, yeah, we'll just see. First up is just this, um... Uh, Walt Disney World Muppet Babies, uh, Disney pin, um, that has Kermit, uh, Baby Kermit, Fozzie, and Miss Piggy on it. Uh, I did get this at Disney World when I went to, when I went. Um, so, this cost about $10. It's only in the collection because I got it at Disney. I just think the art's pretty cool. Um, it's just a nice thing to have the in the collection, so. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it for this one, uh. Yeah. Okay, the next one I have is um, another Disney pin. Um, this is a 2021 uh, Walt Disney World uh, Kermit pin. So, story behind this one. Um, this is actually the first thing I bought in Disney World and my first pin. So, um, I was really happy to see this um, because, you know, I, uh, I am a collector, so... I try to find Muppet stuff, and when they're cheap, or I do want them, I do pick them up. This one, I do believe, was probably still $10. Um, they can range in prices, depending on the detail. Uh, this one's really cool, just because I like the artwork. Also, 2021, I mean, it's 2022. I did go in October of last year, so almost a year ago now. Um, so... Yeah, it's kind of it. Moving on to the next item. Okay, so here, I don't know if you can see this good, but this is a um, Disney World. So they had a lot of, like, uh, penny presses where you could, like, put a penny in, or I think you had to pay money and, like, put a penny in, and it would crunch it and put a design on it. So this one is for the Pizza Rizzo restaurant in, in uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, which is... One of my favorite parks because uh, of the Muppets area. Um, I do like the Star Wars too. But um, hang on, let me get an in better light. Alright, this is a little better. So, here it is. You can see Rizzo's, um, Rizzo's face there. Um, let me see. It says, the famous original Pizza Rizzo. Uh, I do have two of these. Um, yes, yeah, it's just a basic penny. Um, yeah, but I think this is cool. Um, just because, you know... I don't really see anything like this, um, and also I did get it, and I did go to the restaurant. It's actually, their pizza's actually better than some of the other ones I had, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, about it for the pizza Rizzo kind. Okay, next is this, um, in-box, uh, uh, let me see, I think it's, uh, okay, it's a Just Play figure, um, uh, it's in-box, um, so, here's the back. I uh, do have the full set. I only have Fozzie in box, but I do have Piggy, Kermit, Fozzie, Gonzo, Animal, and Summer. Um, Fozzie's the only one in box because I have two of him. So, um, yeah. He is a dollar store product, but the reason I really like this so much is because I kept him in box for a while. And he just looks really nice. I mean, they did a well job on these figures, and I mean, I think they deserve to be like a couple dollars. Um... This isn't really rare at all, I just do think it's cool, and it's one of my favorite parts of my collection, just because it's in box, and it's, you know, it's still cool, because one day, you know, it's going to get older. And also, they're kind of, I haven't really seen much at the Dollar Tree, so, um, that's uh, kind of it. It is for the newer Muppet Babies. If it was the older one, um, then that would be a little more interesting, um... So that's kind of it for this figure. Um, yeah, so 
That's the Just Play Inbox Fuzzy Bear Muppet Baby figure. Okay, the next one we have is, um, this, I don't even know if this is official, it might be, like, custom made. It's a painting slash picture, uh, with a stand that does, you know, like, pop in and out like this. Um, like that. Um, it is, I think it's, it, it's either the Muppets Christmas Carol or just, yeah, I think it's the Muppets Christmas Carol, um, with Kermit and Robin on it. Um, this is, like, made out of, like, foamish material, um, but this is a really cool item to have in my collection. Uh, one of my neighbors got this as, like, some kind of gift, um, thank you to them. Uh, this is really cool. I've had this for maybe two years. This is one of, like, an original items to have when I was collecting, so this is really cool to have, because when I started collecting, I really didn't have much, so, yeah, so, I could put it up like this, uh, it's, like, displayed like this on my shelf, I know you can't really see it that well, but, um, yeah, this is still a really cool item, and I think, uh, this is one of my favorites, because I like the artwork, and it's just a really cool piece to have, and it also is a Christmas decoration, so. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for this one. Next up is, uh, the, uh, Nanko Gonzo plush. Now, this is, uh, in my favorites, because one, Gonzo used to be my, one of my favorite Muppets. He still is. I like Kermit the best. But also, this was, like, the one Christmas present I wanted so bad in 2019, I think. Yeah, like, right before the virus hit. Um, this one is really cool. I would use him in more videos and everything, but here's the only reason I don't. Um, he is, um, really delicate. His eyes are pretty bad and beat up, like, you, like, that happened. Let's just say he's not in the greatest condition, and I don't really want to break him, because he's super nice. So I just kind of kept him around on my shelf, so. Um, yeah, um... He doesn't cost much, it's just, I do really think this is a nice plush. Also, I do like all plush that are smaller. I do have a couple big ones. This is my only, like, adult Gonzo. I do have a couple baby Gonzos that are, like, I have the Disney Store one, the Just Play one, and the and the Just Play Dr. Minzo. If you don't know what that is, it's like, uh... A uh, bad guy version of the Muppet Babies, uh, Baby Gonzo. It, there's like a couple episodes based on that. Um, I have the whole set of the superhero ones. I don't have the whole set of regular ones. That's surprising. But I am missing Animal and Piggy. So I don't. I just haven't got them yet. So um, that's kind of it for uh, this Gonzo plush. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Alright, next one up uh, is another Fozzie figure. I know, you may be thinking, why do I have Fozzie in box? Okay, that one is a duplicate. This one is not. Um, so, uh, at the beach, there's this, like, um, collector shop where I go. Um, so, it was about, like, 40 minutes away from our hotel. Um, so, uh, that's where I got it. Um, it's a whole collector store. I, I Nothing here I got else from it, but I do have, I did buy a couple other, like, small figures, so, this only cost me $5, and for inbox, I mean, I mean, I know they are getting older, so I decided to pick it up, because I won't see it again, so it's a posable Fozzie, um, it's a lot different, and I do like this one more, it comes with a, uh, bow and arrow, aka Sir Feather Brains, the packaging is not perfect, but, He's still in package, so it's kind of all that matters to me. Um, this one is cool. It is a Disney Junior one. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it for this uh, Fozzie here. I don't know why I like this so much. I just, I really do appreciate the in-box items I have. Because I think they just look a lot better on my shelf. So, that's kind of it for this one. Um, so, moving on to the next item. Okay, so... This one's a really weird item. Uh, this is a uh, Star Wars um, Luke Skywalker Kermit figure. Now, only like a couple months ago did I really look at him and um, like decide to look him up. Um, he is from, I think he was sold at Disney World for Star Tours. And uh, the other attractions, this was like 
all like 20 or 30 years ago I don't I don't know if I'm wrong or right uh, uh, you can type in the comments if I'm right or wrong um, yeah um, uh, so he's in a full set I want the full set very bad but I found him at a flea market for like a dollar so at the time I just kind of thought he was a basic Kermit figure um, he is my favorite Kermit figure I own. Um, I just really like the way he's made, even though, like, his lightsaber is, uh, a bit scratched up. Um, that's okay, though. Uh, he's still really fun. He's really, really cool, and he looks good on display. So, yeah, this one's, uh, definitely cool. Okay, the next one is this Kermit mug, which I believe is from the Great Muppet Caper. I could be wrong. Uh, this, I think it's hand painted painted uh it looks really nice um this one's pretty old this is one of my original collectibles that i've had for two years now i mean i started really collecting three years ago so this is kind of old for me um this one was really one of my first expensive collectibles that i owned i really thought it was like a big thing I don't really think it's worth much, but it is old and made out of glass, so uh, I'll be really disappointed if uh, this broke. So, um, this one I got from my aunt, who does live up at the beach. I did see her when I did get the Fozzy, uh, so uh, she got me this. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of about it for this one. It's not really a story behind it, it's just kind of a basic Kermit reporter-ish mug thing. Yeah, I don't really know, so yeah, that's kind of it for this one. Okay, next up is a uh, 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 70s Muppet Show uh, original Fisher-Price Kermit doll. So, this one we've had before I collected. It was originally Christian's. Um, Took a lot of persuading to get. Uh, originally, he played with it, but he tried to keep him nice. Um, he's not in the per best condition. As you can see, his eyes aren't uh, really the best they can be, but they're okay. Um, he has Velcro on his like uh, heels and his hands. I keep him in a pose where uh, hang on, he's like this. Uh, uh, kind of like this. That's uh, how he's been for so many years. Uh, I haven't really played with him because I, or like, used him in videos at all because I don't want to damage him because I used to think this was like a hundred dollars, but it's really not. It's like thirty to fifty dollars, depending on the condition and where you get it from. Um, so it's kind of it for this one. It's just you know one of my first like collectibles because uh, like. I, this was one of the first, like, old things besides all the Muppet Babies, because I collected it around the time uh, the Muppet Babies reboot was really popular, so I had a lot of stuff from that. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, kind of it for um, the Fisher Price uh, Vintage Kermit. Okay, next up is the Muppets Take Manhattan uh, in package. I think this is a. Um talking story but uh, I don't know what this is hang on I think this is for like a record um this is in packaging it's never been opened so this is a rare item uh, uh so yeah uh, my neighbor got this for me he found it at a garage sale um yeah so that's a really great find I know this is not easy to come across so um yeah, that's kind of it for this one. Uh, moving on to the final item. Okay, the final item is nothing really rare. I mean, it's kind of rare, uh, but this means a lot to me. I think this is a really cool item. It's a Funko Pop of Jim Henson with Kermit. Um, the story behind this, I think I got this for Christmas. I think it was from my mom. So, um, yeah. I really like this one uh, because, you know... E this is getting more rare. Uh, I don't have the Ernie one. There is an Ernie one. It's the same thing, but him holding Ernie. Um, yeah, so this one, I mean, the box isn't even perfect. 
He's still taped, but I don't think that's how he came. I think wherever she bought it from, I think eBay, uh, he was like, you know, not in perfect condition, so. But that's okay, because it's still really nice. Um, I don't think I've ever taken him, taken him out, ever, and I don't think I will. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of it for the collection, so. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like, and uh, comment down below which one was your favorite.